Oh man, another wizard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh dear, I think this must be top chaos. Maybe. No, 4-2-3, but he's played a lot. Played nine games. He's got a claw mighty blow guy that I can't deal with. But I've got a reroll and I've got a dirty player, so that's something, isn't it? What's this jump up block? So he, so this is where he's built for long term and I built for short term, haven't I? So he's got dodge, agility, agility. So he's got things that will pay off in the end, and that's why his record isn't very good. Um, whereas I have got things that are good now, which is why my team is good. And it's still it's still arguably better team really. 150 TV down, my team's still arguably better. Um, the only thing is if his minor kills everything or not. Do you know what? These orcs are good at winning coin tosses, aren't they? Holy shit. Unbelievable, Jeff. Yeah, he does have only three warriors because he started with the uh, minor, didn't he? Um, don't want to pile on on a minor. Seems like not as good as piling on a my, uh, beast, but then if I pile on a beast, I've got to commit forward, so I guess I'd rather not have to commit forward. But yeah, he has got the fourth reroll rather than a fourth. Yeah. You would have thought he would have gone with uh, the fourth. The fourth uh, thing, yeah. I can't really speak, sorry. It's... Turkey player ready to strike. Fourth blitzer ready to skill up. 2D here. Alright. No, it's not it's not just being you, I mean, the, the piling on is good once you've got Glow Mighty Blow piling on, isn't it? The jump up is good then, but a lot of people take it early and then, you know, because eventually it'll pay off, but, wow. Well. And like, good people take Edge 4 on Warriors, like, you know, it's not necessarily bad, it's just a... Uh, it's not my preference, but that doesn't make it wrong, does it? Wow. Huge, huge KO. Good, good guy. Oh, didn't really, didn't really protect my uh, mighty blogger, that does it. Do want to push here 
for additional blocks. Glorious. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, orc orcs are great once they get... Well, once they play games of Blood Bowl. <laughs> Orcs are just great, aren't they? Orcs are just a good... A good team. Obviously, once they get uh, banged on by... They're not so good once the claw kicks in. Only a three assist foul. 58. I'd rather keep him for fouling the uh, minor, to be fair. Put him there to us. Make it harder to hit the uh, guy. Perfect start. Another lose turn one for me. Maybe you shouldn't put your warriors on the LOS. <laughs> and he hasn't lost turn one. He's just conceded this drive almost certainly. But there's still... Plenty of time to make it a draw, isn't it? Oh God, <laughs> say hello to my piling on friend. Wow, greeds it, greeds it with a loner. Gets a Kaz, classic. Classic crap player in call, isn't it? <laughs> you know? That's the classic thing. <laughs> I have a book to write on this subject. Pretty annoying, eh? We can't get the assistant without well, guard. What if the GFI? This guy's gonna get blocked first to get in. He could block him. But he's, he's made this pretty tricky actually. He's done quite well there. I think I want him to blitz. The problem here is I only care about fucking knocking over his shitty fucking stupid Mino and it's not really the optimal play is it? It's not really what, what the right good Blood Bowl play is to do but I feel like it's the only way he can win is by getting lucky with that. Maybe I just don't foul him. Maybe I just don't foul him this turn. Good. Good, that was that was that was what I wanted to happen. <laughs> um
Now the problem is essentially protecting the ball now, isn't it? Because he's got a dodge guy, strength four. He's got a jump up guy. Here we go here. I'm still where I am. And then screen off. You can only base. Hitting here has good payoff. Got four rerolls. Brilliant. Brilliant. Did he have the apple? He does have the apple. He didn't apple it because it was a badly hurt and he was pixel hugging. Which is fair enough, it's what I did as well. But, you know. Yeah, jump up on the warrior because eventually you'll have claw mighty blow padding on. Is the idea, isn't it? Well, it's not been. Let's see. This is what I don't like in the insulting him here. You know, there's no, there's no need to just be nasty and say all this kind of stuff. You know, at the end of the day, there's no. He did run his mind away into four hogs, <laughs> but you know it's. Yeah, I would have been a, but you know, he probably doesn't see it as his only way of winning. He probably thinks he can win by playing well. <laughs> which, which, you know, he's not going <laughs> to. He's not going to win by playing well. He's going to win by dicing the fuck out of me, isn't he? Let's be honest. That's how he wins. Now, whether he can identify that that's how he wins or not. Whether he's good enough to realise that that's the only way he can win is by dicing the living fuck out of me. Probably isn't, is he? He probably thinks he's unlucky and stuff. I mean, that, that's the hard thing about Blood Bowl, isn't it? It's easy to think you're unlucky. It's not easy to identify what your misplays are. Well, it's easier to think you're unlucky than to identify your misplays. Wow. That was a misplay. Lucky as fuck. <laughs> you know? Lucky as fuck. Moronic foul there. Completely moronic. Two assists fouling an armor nine guy. Gets a Kaz. <laughs> <laughs> fouling before he hits he could have made that two dice you know fouling before he hits a mighty blow guy piling on fouling before he hits a mighty blow piling on guy on two dice is just moronic but he gets the dice he's dicing me you are the one dicing me so far and he is he's made two cars and my apples failed I made one Kaz after he left his best player in contact with a mighty blow panning on guy. So, there you go.
Oh, fall by mistake! I misclicked! <gasps> oh. Now he's gonna follow me. I've used my apple. Now this fellow I can get behind. Oh, what a horrible, what a horrible fucking follow by accident. And misclicking. Ah, oh, misclick really fucking sucks. But it is a Blood Bowl 2 mistake, isn't it? It was my fault. It was my fault. Just getting quietly diced here. This is a much better foul, isn't it? Three assists instead of two. And on a panning on mighty blow. That was a fine foul. The other foul was terrible. In my opinion. But I guess you can argue that that's what he needs to do to win. We well, want to blitz this guy, don't we? It's not foul. <laughs> this is fucking horrible. He's down three, and I'm only down two. And I've got the reserve as well, so second half won't be so bad. But down a guard and a strength four is... Uh, not ideal. Holy shit, the cogs in his brain are whirring. He's going to get two dice on the ball, then maybe only one dice on the ball. Maybe he's not going to get any dice on the ball. Who knows what he's going to do. Getting banged out, getting diced to fuck it, just quietly. <laughs> all these stuns with no mighty blow at all. Two cows into apple fail. But he's managed to not hit the ball, hasn't he? So that's good.
Face the ball. His life's... Oh my god! <sighs> Getting out bashed by a fucking nothing chaos team is, is annoying as fuck. Yep, he, he really is really playing bad, luckily for me. Luckily for me, he's really playing badly. But he's getting consistently lucky. <laughs> Which is making things difficult, isn't it? <laughs> Dicing the living fuck out of us. One dice block for a push. And then blitz him and then run away. It's not fucking good, but these two stuns are brutal. I don't see what I can do apart from running away. Well, yes, you'll lose at the end of the game, hopefully, because you. But that's because you're shit, not because you're unlucky. <laughs> That's not being nasty. That's not being nasty, that's that's being true. If he loses, it's not because he's unlucky, is it? Let's say at the end of the game. He's implying that if he loses at the end of the game, it's because he's been unlucky, isn't he? He's the one being a prick there. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not being a bully. Alright. Don't say anything in chat, that's the best way, isn't it? But I don't know, sometimes I get a bit salty when people fucking whine about the look. But then, at the end, you know, when they whine about the look, when they're getting lucky, that's what, that's what, you know. I don't say it puts me on tilt, but it pisses me off a little bit. That someone's getting lucky, complaining about the look. Always... You know, it always pisses me off, whether it's my opponent or a streamer. It's, uh, there's some streamers that, you know, outbash, outbash dark elves, outbash orcs with dark elves and complain about their bad luck, and that pisses me off. It just pisses me off. People getting lucky complaining about their bad luck just pisses me off. You know, that wasn't even that lucky to be fair, 3-2-2 two, two, and then two dice. Wasn't even that lucky. But he'd got the luck of the previous turn with the two stuns and the KO that made me potato like a fucking idiot. I wasn't even that lucky to end up like that. But it, it, the luck was set up the turn before with two stuns and a KO, wasn't it? He needs to get back as a safety, doesn't he?
I guess I just take the boat down here. Don't re-roll it, whatever it is. Well, unless it's a double skull. Got to re-roll because there's only three turns left. Maybe I should have re-rolled that hit, eh? Maybe I should have re-rolled the hit on the ball. Looking at the dice rolls, it would have just been another push. <sighs> he can get all three KOs back and have 11 men. No, no, 10 men for the second half. I've got 10 max. We've both got 10 at max, but it could be 10 10, or he could even have a man advantage, it could be 10 9 up. And I'd use my apple. Maybe I should have re rolled that hit, eh? It was my offense, finally. It was my offense. You just bashed the fuck out of me that made me potato. Maybe I didn't have to potato, but I felt like I had a potato. I don't use it on my own drive, though, do I? Especially not now that... How, how do I score after I whiz? Now I want to use the whiz to turn him over and win 1-0. And somehow defend without using my wizard. Like, obviously, if I've got a wizard, I'm going to have to. Why not throw it? Because it's shit. Because <laughs> it's absolute fucking garbage, is why. Insta reroll. Get out of town. Wow, how lucky does he want to be? <laughs> how lucky does he fucking want to be? Of course he is. He's, he's bad but lucky, isn't he? If I fail this, then he scores, and then using the, saving the wizard isn't very good. I've got to risk it. If I want to win, I've got to risk it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do I just bolt? Bolt him and then go for the surf? Bolt him and then go for the surf. One, two, three, four, five. Then it's just a GFI for a 1D. Three plus two plus two pluses. I guess I shouldn't need the wizard in the second half. Okay. Man, the fucking camera move. Is there any fucking need for this shit? I want to be able to move him afterwards, don't I? Either tag him or tag him. Depending where the ball goes. Fuck it, maybe just tag him. Well, I rolled a one anyway, didn't I? I think it was better to bolt. Because he's that bad that I can probably turn him over without using the wizard. 
don't want to surf the ball, the ball carrier. Of course, I don't get to surf him. Because why? Why would I get to surf him? Yeah, but if I fail, then it's a 1-1 one -one draw though, right, Tirano? Then it's a 1-1 one -one draw. I think I can stop him scoring without using Wizard. That's the thing, right? I think I can stop him using... It's not bad. 77% isn't bad, but beating this guy 77% of the time? Nah. Nah, I draw. I draw 23% of the time. If I go for that and fail it, he just scores. You know? So... No, I think I absolutely have hundred percent have to use the wizard there. I'm 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 absolutely Patrick Satan that that was the right play. One, two, three, four, five, six, pass, blitz, score. He could score in two turns, so I'll have to block him. Right, yeah, these are getting some good. Some good dice now on here, but he's still got really good odds to score. I think I've got to make this one dice block. Still got a really good chance to score. Sad, sadly. But yeah, with some good removals. As long as I go nil-nil, should be able to turn him over and win. We still got a good chance of scoring. <laughs> as stupid as it is, he's got a reroll. He's he's probably going to score still anyway. Oh, really lucky to roll the one there. Makes the pass a lot more difficult, doesn't it? Without a reroll. Oh, thanks God. Oh, thanks God. Are right, you telling me there's a chance? <laughs> telling me there's a chance. Right, he can be the one who scores. Hmm. He can go there, then he can block him, then he can blitz him, then he picks it up and passes it to him. Yep, that works, doesn't it? Look, he wasn't even that bad odds to score then. He, he's still not going to be that bad odds to score if I fail anything here. Could almost do two GFIs to make the failure state not so bad. Don't roll dice. Don't know if I got further away by going in the end zone. I made the I made the pass worse though, didn't I? Yeah, maybe maybe I shouldn't have gone in the end zone because going in the end 
going out the back of the end zone was worse than oh, that. Oh baby, six and zero a throw here would be good here. <laughs> a mock throw would be alright. No, it would have been exactly the same result, wouldn't it? Yeah, maybe I should have not moved him first in the end zone. I thought it would be closer, but maybe it wouldn't have been closer. All right, let's see. Nine players for me. Nine players minus these for him. Seven players for him. All right. Yep, he's got three warriors, I've got three black orcs. So he's got the strength advantage, hasn't he, with having uh, the beast men. Oh no, he's got less players though. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so actually he's got he's got he's the fact he's two players down puts him down six strength, doesn't it? So Yeah, three, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. So two players up. Yeah. Yeah, so actually. He's got two adge and he's got the dodge, so he's still got Plenty of bullshit opportunities. Maybe I shouldn't have wasted the wizard there, but I don't know. It's just too, too risky. I think going for the hit, making the dodge, adding a three plus to the sequence. I think was too risky. Way too risky. Way too much risk of him just getting away and scoring. Then, if I didn't use the ball, and if he scores, the chance of me turning him over twice is really small, isn't it? So, I'm happy with using the wizard there. But obviously, if I'd saved it. I had the wizard now, it'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Also, would have liked to have uh, had more than nine players, but then he's got seven, so yeah. Should we not? But he's got dodge and he's got edge four, so he can he can get lucky, can't he? Yeah, exactly, Jam Toast. Exactly. I mean, that factored in the wizard, you know. If it had been Ducky, then I would have saved the wizard. Um, because I would think, <laughs> you know, 100%. If I'm playing Ducky, I save the wizard there, you know. Or Andy Dave or Sage or whoever, you know. Um, I save the wizard there 100% and try to, stop, try to stop it without the wizard and then use the wizard to turn him over. But I just figured this guy you know, isn't the best player in the world without being harsh to him. Without being harsh to him, he's, you know, he didn't play very good. Didn't play very well before then. Um, so, you know, I thought it was worth, worth pushing, not pushing my luck. Yeah, not worth pushing my luck against him. That's not harsh. It's not harsh at all. <laughs> Horns are amazing. Why not directly bolt the ball carrier? Because, yeah. The thing is, if I bolt the ball carrier, then he can just pick it up and score again, and I'm still left making a dodge and stuff. I want The dodge was riskier than the, than the GFI, wasn't it? So... Essentially, if I'd bolted that warrior, then the, the black orc could have assisted the hit on the other beast man, and I could have surfed that other beast man. So I just thought that gave me like. So the move the building the warrior rather than the ball was a bit greedy, but I don't know. It was I guess it was a mix of a mix of greed and uh, safety. Oh, 
Oh, good. Oh, good. That was uh, that was handy. You fucking whiny little cunt. Fucking hell. Anyway. <laughs> fucking cunting. Cunt of a fucking shithead. Fucking cunt. Cunt. Fucking cunt. Cunt. Cunt fucking beast. Yeah, necropons. I, I don't like insulting people because they're bad. You know, there's, there's, it's, I think it's pathetic insulting people because they're bad, you know? But when someone's fucking whining, when they're being lucky, that always riles me up. It always riles me up when people are whining about being lucky. When people are dicing you and whining, dicing anybody and whining, it just pisses me off. Because I think it's completely pathetic. Whining and whining while you're dicing somebody, I think, is the worst thing. In Blood Bowl. And that's what he was doing, wasn't it? So. A little bit annoying. Alright. Herb up. Base, base, base. Not even gonna pile on. Don't need to, glorious. Glorious Jim Pow. Special British word how to translate. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, Jim Surf for a power, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's the thing that that's the thing that pisses me off the most. But you know, to be fair. To be fair, it is hard to know when it, it's you being bad and when it's them being lucky and stuff. That is the problem with Blood Bowl, so... You know, you've got to... Uh, you've got to cut bad players some slack on that. But re usually it's only something bad people do. It's very strange when good people moan about the dice when they're dicing somebody. But, um... Yeah, it's pretty normal, I guess, for bad players to moan about the dice when they're dicing somebody. But it still fucking pisses me off sometimes. Double G fight a hit. No, I'm not a bad player now. <laughs> no help me. I'm not a bad player. Double G fight a one dice doesn't seem very good.
I'm not bullying people online. This, the jump up is actually great here for him, isn't it? He can't score this turn, though. So. Oh my god. I should just follow, shouldn't I? Why didn't I follow? Didn't follow because I didn't want to be tagged by him so he couldn't jump up me. Fuck. Now I've got a GFI. Oof, lucky. Burp, burp. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Burp, burp, burp. One dicing there so that they're both tied up would be good. Skull doesn't really matter, does it? Okay. Thinking again is Black Ox move. Five, yeah, I'm not right. Yeah. He's not getting nice to death, but um, yeah, obviously I've broken armor a lot. But you know, I've I've been able to get a lot of blocks, haven't I? And I wouldn't call him getting nice to death when he's killed a guy and missed next game to guy, and the apple failed. He's made three cars, including an apple fail. Um, so it's hard to say he's getting diced, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like he's up shit creek. <laughs> I don't know where he's going. That's better than where he was, because before he was going to get 2D, he didn't run another 2D, wasn't he? Maybe he thinks that guy isn't actually stunned. All right. So 2D obviously have to re-roll this. Um, yeah, nothing else really matters, does it? Glorious. Let's get him away from his teammates. Go back to base him. You are the looker. <laughs> there you go. And you pass each other, you are the looker. Well, he's armor eight, isn't he? I'm armor nine and he's armor eight. And uh, yeah, he's made more casts. Sure, I made a bunch of my, a bunch of KOs, but that's, that's, hmm. It's a bit of the snowball of him being down then and being able to get more blocks on him. But um, he certainly got lucky with that KO, didn't he? Like, how many players have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six players in the pitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And he's got one, two, three, four, five. Five versus seven. 
It's not like, it's not like Andy's about to hit the ball as well. Wow. Andy catches it, so now I've got to reroll when I hit the ball. Brilliant. How do you hide chat in game? Um, by going to options and then settings and then sounds and mute hide opponents messages during the match there. Alright, it's only two dice on him. I actually need to recover with the piling on, don't I? Because I'm running out of turns. So I have to blitz with him. And have to go that way. Relevant block first. I think a GFI here is worth it. I've got five players off and he's got six players off. Yep, Brown Slug's another 12 hour stream, yep. Could be dead by the end of this, maybe, yeah. Yeah, Crystal Hunter. I mean, they're a lot better than than most of the teams that I've used. <laughs> but yeah, the thing is, horns you can just always get two dice, can't you? And of course, it's never not going to fail. Despite his complaints about bad luck. Running out of time to uh, score here, aren't I? Guard guy can can pick it up. Maybe he can't. Right, so block there. Block there, blitz, and then he recovers. That's gotta be the play, hasn't it? Get two D into a two D there though. Nah, I think I've got to recover with a guard. Just some running out of time. I knew it. I absolutely fucking knew it. 
Fucking lost to the worst fucking player. I've played against in seven games. He was fucking whined the whole game about how unlucky he is when he's just pure, complete shit. It's ridiculous, isn't it? It's just fucking ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. Like, seriously. Oh my god. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew that I should have just not done that. Blocked with him and then blitzed with the uh, thing so I could have got a follow up blitz potentially. And he just doesn't even dodge. He doesn't even dodge. He's like, oh, I'll just dodge and DFI in two days. Get out of town, you lucky fucking prick. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow. Fucking unbelievable. If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better, eh? Now I've just got to play for the draw, haven't I? That's it. He can base the ball. And then he could do 4 plus 5 plus 3 plus to 2 dice. Yeah, I don't like the Ash Fall Warrior. Three, six, seven, eight versus six. But he's got edge four and horns, so it's gonna be really tough to score. Fucking lucky prick. <laughs> and that's not <laughs> that's okay now. I've got no qualms about insulting somebody who fucking whines about getting diced as they dice you. Wow, it's the worst. That really is the thing that bugs me the most about football is when people dice you and then complain about getting diced. That is something that always bugs me. All right. All right, Groost, rely on Groost, he's the man. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then him. Block him. Base. Hope to base, base, base. 
Yeah. But what's that? It's like 75 plus another 75. It's like... It's outrageous odds, isn't it? About 90% to get him down and instead... Uh, instead double skull. Yeah, pretty annoying. If only Frankfurter, but unfortunately there isn't. Unfortunately, there's literally no such thing. Oh my god, now he's now he's saying that I'm not a good player. You pass each armor, you the look at always two or three player more than me, and you have difficulty. Where is the good player as you said before? <laughs> ah, the one who has a ninety-seven percent chance to get the ball but double skulls. You lucky fucking prick. Ah, it doesn't matter. I can write whatever I want, can't I? He still said it, so I'm not stopping him saying it by sitting, by not responding. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. So I can make one GFI now. One. Yeah, let's do that. Right. One, two, three, four, five, GFI handoff. I really I can't get, just, I can't base up, so I can't go any closer. <laughs> yeah, that's true, isn't it? Yeah. 94, is it? Oh, well. No, I'm not, there's no need to, uh, there's no need to say anything like that. It's just annoying, isn't it? When someone's dicing you in the morning about the dice. That's all I don't like. Whoever it is. No, because if I pass he'll, that's the one he'll blitz. So... Yeah, he'd be claiming to be out dice whichever side he was on in this game. Hundred percent. Should have maybe GFI with him, shouldn't I? One of these two should have GFI. Yeah, I should have. I should have GFI'd. Uh, I really wanted to move them up, though. Yeah, I know. I shouldn't respond. I should have just muted him instantly. I should have just muted him. I'll do it now. Too late. But yeah, I should have just muted him and then not replied. Right, he's got to block him first, that there's no doubt about. Done. Right. I could 2D him, and then power one of these. Maybe I could one, 2D him with these guys. GFI, 1D, 2D him up to there. Move this guy in here with a GFI, and then power, and then chain. That's probably worth it, isn't it? I'm 
I'm failing there means that I've got to do a pass now, doesn't it? Even failing was pretty good for him there. Didn't get the power, so can't can't chain him free now. Money. I mean, I can't do a four plus. If I if I'd uh, if I'd got him, I could have GFI'd and then hit him like that and then chained him to there. And then gone that way. He could have come in here. And then he could have gone like around there and hit. And then chained him out. But now. Now there's just no. No way is there. Do I make the GFI? Yeah, I guess I've got to. Can't even do the fucking GFI. This this way the push was all right, which is obviously what I got. So that'd be three plus two plus, and this would be two plus three plus. So it's the same difference, except this gets me a star player point if it works. An absolute joke. What an absolute joke losing against that prick. And that's fair enough because he deserves to be called a prick for how he acts, doesn't he? He doesn't deserve to be insulted for being bad at blood ball, that's absolutely fine, but there's no need to act how he acted, was there? So I'm fine with insulting him now because he acted like a complete prick. He made seven AV breaks yet nearly made as many removals as me. Isn't that crazy? Nine more blocks. And I made two cas and he made three. Despite them not coming up on here. Because yeah, they were fouls. So he made three cas off of seven AV breaks. And I made two off 18. I mean, I made a lot of AV breaks, fair enough. But uh, one dodge success and three failures. His going for it's 86, his dodge is 79. Some were 83s, to be fair. Going for it weren't bad. Pickups were good. Passes, not my day. 26s, they were probably on the armor, <laughs> on the injury rolls. <laughs> um, 32, 31, 27. Rashid got 13, 13, 34. No, sorry, no, 13, 31, 34. It's pretty good, isn't it? Five skulls and eight board downs for 31 pushes and 34 powers. Good time to whine about your dice when you do that. Now, he started it. He started it. So I'm just going to mute people who are, who are pricks in future. I can't buy, I can't rebuy. Oh, derp. Right, teams, teams in the fucking, in the clats now. If only you would have orc throw a cap of G. <laughs> Thanks, Fathless taken. But 6 one's fine, isn't it? Thir win 30, lose 5 is a good record. But um, really, really should have won that game. <laughs> really should have fucking won that game. Anyway. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.